Well, it's the end of day one at the Northeast Muscle Car Challenge, and what a great day we had. And we just did road racing today, and it was a phenomenal day. This event attracts a lot of the people that we trust, people that care about their vehicles, care about others, and it's more about friendships than the competition. And so we, we really trust this event for ourselves, our kids, our vehicles. This event especially, safety is always number one priority. The track officials that are, that are working grid and, and letting us out on track, I mean, that's their primary number one thing. Um, especially with the new drivers. Uh, they offer up driving instructors that are more than willing to hop in your car if you don't know the track or you, if you've never been on a road course before. It's an excellent opportunity. If, if you don't take advantage of it, you definitely should. Bob requires long sleeves, long pants, and um, a current helmet rating. So most of the racers go above and beyond that though. Um, so many of us wear Hans devices and full fire suits, no max shoes, no max gloves, and uh, you know maybe the latest and greatest helmets. So um, I can see in the road course that people are taking it very, very, very seriously. And if you were to have an unfortunate incident, you'd probably end up okay. I feel this event is, is a very safe event. I mean, there's, there's not one time, I think, that I've been out on course and wondering if the guy behind me knows what he's doing or the guy in front of me. So I think everybody we run with here um, is, is very safe. Uh, Bob does a good job of taking the novice and the newbies and kind of putting them in a group. So if you are a pro driver, you know, or, or a better driver, you're not out on course with somebody who's a little bit slower. Why do I race despite the dangers? It's so exhilarating. I can't even tell you. It's the best. I wouldn't trade it for a vacation in Hawaii or a vacation in the islands. I would rather be here at a racetrack any day. Well, it's day two at the Northeast Muscle Car Challenge, and I'm here with my good friend, Larry Wu. How you doing, Larry? Not too bad. A little warmer today at the track, Bob, but what a full day of autocross we had. You know, you really can't put on an event like this without some great sponsors. And I just want to mention, BFG even sponsored our steak dinner last night. Those steaks were phenomenal. And then you had UMI Performance was here, and Summit Racing, and r and Motors, uh, A-plus Powder Coaters, Bear Brakes, JRI Shocks. Those were our big sponsors. And we also had uh, Maxima Oil and Ride Tech and Sturgis Aviation come out and, and, and do some uh, sponsorship. And, the event cannot go on without them. The event would just be cost prohibitive. Bear Brakes likes to come to the Northeast Muscle Car Challenge to give good feedback, meet potential customers. We have customers that have our brakes that are willing to give rides to potential customers and that gives us a good return on our investment. As uh, UMI grows, we look for um, cool events to do and events that have a good return on investment. And uh, we found a really good return on investment with um, the Northeast Muscle Car Challenge. So um, a really neat thing is r &H Motors, Larry Wu is a sponsor. And I don't know how much return he gets from it, but he does it because he loves it. We just want to support the sport and this was used to be the Ohio Muscle Car Challenge, which is the event that introduced me into autocross. So I thought I would help Bob throw on a good event for all the auto enthusiasts in the area. We, we have sponsors here that really care about the racing part of it. They, they give a lot to the community. They're not just a sponsor, they come out and they race with us. It's, it's great. So I'm Ryan Kirkwood. I'm here with UMI Performance. And one of the main reasons we like to support this event is, for us, it's a local event. It's close by. 
the, the people running a Bob's event always seem loyal. So if they can purchase something from you or wear your apparel, wear your swag, wear your hat, uh, they seem to do it. It's just a, just a great bunch of people. Day three has just concluded the Northeast Muscle Car Challenge. What a day it was. I feel um, very honored to be part of the women in the pro touring community because we are a small group and I feel like we're perhaps maybe opening the doors for young girls to maybe see the things that we've done and start experiencing this because yeah, it's a wonderful community. Women driving in this sport, it's grown. So I have been running for about five years. When I first started, Linda was the only one that I knew. I think guys see us with our husbands doing this and are more encouraged than the women that are sitting on the sidelines at this event. Chances are they're gonna be running next event. They just, it, it makes it more comfortable. So the more that are in the sport, the more join the sport. You have uh, husbands and wives that uh, come to these events, and what you get to see is you get to see the wives all of a sudden show up with a car, and the husband's got a car, and what they're doing is they're competing against each other. And then what they do is they invite their friends, and then the next thing you know, there's another girl and another guy, and then you get more women involved, and we all love to see uh, a good mixture. I do not find a lot of women drivers at events. This is probably one of the best attended events for women in this uh, area of our sport. How come I think there's uh, more women now involved in the sport than before? I think a lot of it is social media too. I think there's the awareness before uh, now that wasn't there before. The thing that got me hooked in this sport was my husband. He had gone to a couple races, he had participated in one, and he's like, you've got to do this, you're going to love it. Uh, I got done with that first round and I wouldn't give him the car back. It was just instantaneous, fell in love, total addiction to this sport. God, the competition was hot and furious all weekend. I mean, there was battles on the road course, the all across. We think that there should be more classic cars and late metal cars to this event. Uh, it's very competitive, but then it's also a great event to be as your first time. It's a super fun environment. It's very laid back. The food is fantastic. Uh, it's just a really fun atmosphere and a great community.